Hello. Once in a while, there is a Tichel Tai that just takes the Rapunzel Nation world by storm. And the Liesel, which is the current one that's taking the Rapunzel community by storm, is no exception. I really hope, Liesel, that I'm pronouncing your name right. I know I asked you, but um, I haven't heard back from you. Um, so I really hope, I don't know if it's Liesel or Liesel or Liesel, but I'm going to do it Liesel for right now. Um, and so I, what I wanted to do is she made a wonderful video on how to do this tie. But since she made this video, there have been a couple of questions and I've been experimenting with it and I came up with a whole bunch of variations. So this video is going to be the Liesel tie, but with a whole bunch of variations so you can basically play with it. And it's basically, you know, in music we have something called a theme and variation. So there's going to be a theme, which, which I'm going to show you, and then all the variations on that technique. So I'm starting with two scarves. I'm going to be going into three eventually. I have two two-in-ones on, both tied with the ends hanging evenly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring them all to one side. And then I'm going to take one and just layer it over my head like so. There you go. Sorry about the lighting here. It's not so great. And then I'm going to bring that underneath the whole business. There we go. Okay, so my braid is going to lay on top of this. Now I have three ends left. Now, what she did in her original video is she brought up the three strands in exactly the way that she wanted. There's the last one. I love having this mirror at the back for all of you to see. That seal showing in the middle. So she brought back these three, and then depending on where she wanted to start the braid, you can either start it up high or down low. She then braided it like this. Now, for those of you ladies that might have trouble with the braid not being long enough, what you should do is start the braid down a little lower, or just don't tie it so tightly. Make the braid a little looser, and then it will extend well. Now, what I do is now I bring it around and I'm going to tuck it in underneath, like so. So that here is the basic Liesel tie. Now, here is a variation on it. You've noticed that I brought over the three around the flat part first, and then I did the braid. Another option that you can do is you can do the braid first. Wait, baby's crying. Nope, it's going back to sleep. Okay, um, I might have to stop this video. <laughs> so you can also tie the. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop it. I'll be back. Okay, all is good. It was just some gas, and then he went back to sleep. So, what you can do instead of bringing up the first ends flat is you can actually start the braid first and then bring it up and around like so. And you can also arrange how you want these and then tuck in the same way. So it's basically the exact same tie except you did the braid first and then you brought it around. I personally find this a bit easier but it's totally up to you. Okay, now another version that someone did, I think it was Jamie, um, is to do this with a twist instead of a braid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the second end up and around and tuck it in and then I'm going to twist this a little bit and again depending on how tight you do the twist that's going to be how much length you have to work with. And there we go. Yeah, I don't like I don't like it twisted at the top, so I'm gonna do a little less twist. And once again, I'm not doing the tuck at the back just because it takes a little time, but you can just then just tuck it underneath here. There you go. Okay, so those are all the two braid ties. Now 
I'm going to show you how to do it with three scarves. So we have our two here. Oops. Okay, got to arrange that. There we go. Where is my other scarf? You know, I used to be organized. Am I sitting on it? Okay. There it is. Got it. Okay. Here we go. I have a New York Brights in black and white. And I'm going to put this on top. This is just, this tie is just like the double braid. But instead it's the Liesl version of it. Tying that around here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so now I have to arrange all my ends. There we go. So we have two ends like this. So, what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do the braid first because I personally find that easier, but you really, it's really up to you. So I'm going to do a braid, and this side is going to be at the back of the bun. The next one is going to be at the front. There we go. So there we go. It's going to come around the back, and I'm going to lay these ends flat. Again, because it's a video and I don't want to bore you, I'm going to not be totally meticulous about it. But if you want... Oh, and you can really see the back here. Okay, great. Love this mirror. Amazing mirror. Sorry. Can you see what I'm doing? Okay, sorry. I'm talking it in the back right here. There we go. And now I'm going to do, oops, okay, and if there's any fringy ends, you want to get those in as well. I'm going to do the same thing with this side. He's so cute. He's... Okay. I've been wanting to make this video all day, but he's been awake all day, so I finally have my chance. Okay. Next braid comes around the front, and then these three ends are nicely spread out, nice and flat. If there's any ends that are a bit too short, just bring them underneath. You should be fine. Also, just shove those in underneath a knot, if you can see. There you go. So this is what I call the double easel. There you go. This is my absolute favorite because you have this side with the braid at the front and this side with the braid at the back. It's very pretty. Now, for those of you that might have um, bigger heads and you really are struggling with the braid going around, I have a solution for you. It does involve having three scarves. Um, if you are not having trouble with the braid going around, you really you can stop the video right now because I'm going to have to redo everything on my head. But if you are having trouble with the braid going around, stay tuned. Stay patient with me while I just readjust, take everything off. There we go. One, two, three. Okay. So, what you want to do is basically you're going to do the same tie. It's going to be a single diesel tie, but you want to do it with one end longer and one end shorter. So, one end short, one end super long. 
And this is also a way that you can get the braid longer as well. So, tie that. And you're going to have this basically, then you're going to have ends hanging down. You're going to have some fringy ends. Same thing. One end longer, one end shorter, same side. You're basically doing the exact same thing with three scarves. There we go. And if you want, you could even do a crisscross at the front, something fancy. But for now, I'm just keeping it simple. Same thing with the last one. Oh, okay, I made it a little bit too small. Go. Okay. Perfect, looking good from the back. So now I'm going to bring up, the, the, we're going to do the standard original easel, but this one is for those of us with a little bigger head that might want the braid to go all the way around like Liesl shows in her video. I think she's using scarves that are slightly longer than the ones I have. Next up, the Olive 2-in-1, and next up, the New York Reds. There we go. And get it laying exactly how you like it. And then you can start braiding right here. So I'm going to make it a nice and tight braid because it's super long. And you can do it as so long that instead of actually tucking it underneath, which some of you might struggle with, you can tuck it in here, sorry, in here. That nice and long braid. Wow, that's really long. You don't have to make it that long. Okay, so I'm gonna actually bring it around under the fringes just for extra interest. And then you can see I'm bringing the braid around here. Let's see if you can see the back. And then I'm bringing all the fringy ends and tucking those away. underneath the New York braid side of the back. And you have to be patient with this. There we go. Okay. So that is how you do the Liso if you have a larger head or if you want the braid to really, really go around. And as you can see, I have the braid coming around this side as well and it's all tucked in back here so yay we've already had probably over 20 people send us their pictures of how they did the Liesl and I hope this video encourages all of you to do it some more. I'm going to post a couple of examples of what you ladies have already done but in a couple of days once we receive all your inspirational wraps we're going to make a big post featuring everyone so please send your pictures to RapunzelTheStore at gmail.com and we obviously we won't post anyone's picture without your permission so please send them to us don't just assume that if you post them on the fan group that we will post them okay so enjoy thank you thank you Liesl for this awesome awesome inspirational really cool time and we'll see you all later bye